All right, we're gonna be working with this wreath. It's an elevated work wreath. It is a 14 inch wreath base. I'm just doing plain ruffles on it because I don't quite know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I like the red and gold. So I've grabbed a little bit of everything and I'm going to design on the fly because sometimes I feel better challenging myself that way. So, not quite hot yet. Everybody have a good weekend. It's a busy weekend trying to get things taken care of and this week is only getting busier so everybody hear me okay just making sure that my sound is working all right this was one of my finds that I found. So I'm trying to glue her back up. I don't know why somebody took her apart. Hi Mel, how are you? Yes, it was a crazy storm last night. Didn't bother the puppies any. So that's a good sign. So, I'm Robin with Robin's Three Three. We're going to be working on kind of a country angel wreath tonight. I was going to, I started out during nap time <laughs> with gold and red. And I thought, you know what? You know me. I don't like to. I, I'm country at heart, so what I thought was going to be a simple, elegant wreath may go, may go a different way, so I'm just letting you know. It could get crazy. Great, thank you. Good. Awesome. All right, and, and Wednesday... I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I have to show you on Wednesday that the store is not the best place to find things like Walmart, Kmart. If you're looking for unique stuff, Facebook Marketplace. I came home with a box, a box full of stuff, and I, I offered her $15 for it, and she accepted so, out of that box, we're going to design something. And I got an ice skate. I have an angel grapevine wreath. You name it, it's in that box. So, plus there were some candles. Two little votive candles, and boy, did they smell good. So, all right, so I already did the bottom bait of the base. This is only a 16 um, tie wreath so I'm going to do the upper level I know most of you know how to do the ruffle so I was hoping that I could just show you the top and you'd know exactly how to do it because you've seen me do it a bunch of times so, so we're just going to do the top and I chose this mesh that has like the red uh, metallic running through it on the ends. I wanted her to pop color wise, so that's why I went with the red. I wanted it to really stand out. Then I made these three little signs today, and they say Merry Christmas, and it has a, a metal star 
and some pine around it. So we're going to use those in the design. I haven't put them in my Etsy shop yet. I will. But I just wanted to go country with her. I already sold two of my gnome wreaths. I already sold my ice skating wreath. And things are selling pretty good, so I want to do something a little different tonight. Well, not different for me, but maybe different from the norm. Sometimes it's easier just to put scissors on the other end or something heavy just to weight it down and then walk towards it. I always fold down my ends because um, it just helps with any fraying. Now this was a, a 10 inch wide roll of mesh. I cut these because there were only 16 ties on the wreath. I divided it up between the 10 yards and I came out with like 22.5 or something like that. So Believe it or not, I cut them at 22 inches and I didn't have any left over, which is great. I will, but that probably won't be till in two weeks because I have no idea what things are going to be like after Thursday and I'm concentrating on getting finished up some projects that came in before that, so I don't know what my limitations are going to be after Thursday, so I kind of want to just um, finish up what I have to finish up, because you won't be down until the middle of December anyhow, so I figured there was no hurry. Because yesterday was spent taking care of all my Etsy orders because I knew I was going to be busy today with my grandson. So so yeah. Plus the puppies have been really getting crazy. So I've had my hands full today. If you wouldn't mind spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. For some reason, we can't seem to do it on our own to the sites we've always spread it on. So I don't know what they're doing. All right, so we've got this last one here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put her on and then I'm going to eyeball stuff because I have an idea in my head, but I'm really not sure. She was one of my finds at a store I found and she is just the cutest little angel. She is so different. So I thought she would compliment these signs. So, there was an angel sign that I bought too, but it wasn't gold enough for me. So, so I'm trying to figure out where I want to put her and where I want to put these and then where the where the um, bow is going to go. That's what I'm trying to figure out here. Maybe the bow here. Because I actually want to pull some of the design out of the 
out of there. Or I could do these like this and then the bow here and have a really nice long tail. Thank you. Thank you, Mel. I know, isn't that pretty? I think I got that from Sims. I think that's where that came from. All right, where's my box of rusty stuff? And this also came from Sims. And I'll tell you what, I was looking up pine picks and you can't, they have some, but this was listed under pine spray. So, sometimes if you're on there, you can't find it where it should be. So, I'm trying to decide whether I just cut this in two. And put it on. Well, I know I'm going to cut it anyhow, so let's just cut away and see what we can do with it. There we go. I saw Doreen use this the other week on one of her grapevine wreaths and I contacted her. I said, where did you get that? I absolutely love that. And she's like, it's on, it's on Sim's site. <laughs> and I'm like, no, it's not. And that's why it was under a spray. But I thought it would be just enough. And this almost looks like, you know, real, real um, tree branch. So, let me take this off. And what I like about it, there's wire all the way through. So, you can maneuver it the way you want it. Get rid of some of this, too. But I thought the pine would look nice against the red and kind of just have it peeking out. You know, it would be more country-like. And I can actually use these ties to hold it in place. And then if I have to, I can tie the little signs to the piece itself. Actually, maybe this is where the bow should go. And then the signs around it. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll put our bow over here. If I do that, I'm definitely going to move this pine cone because he's going to get covered. It looks realistic. Even the pine cones are real. So I really like that. If anybody wants the UPC or the code, it's WF as in Frank 272. It's a 30 inch PVC pine spray. All right, I think I like that. And then we can just put these in our triangle-like pattern. Now, I do have some rusty stars that I thought I could add to the pine. I have three of those. Maybe I should remove the tree and put, no, I'll leave it. I'm trying to figure out where to put these. I like that there. I kind of like that there. 
and then this one maybe here. All right, and then I have some pip berries, and I thought what I'd do is take some of the pip berries and glue some stars or some bells to the pip berries and a little spray of pine here and attach it and put it in place. Well, that's the plan. And I may use this rusty bow or rusty bell in the bow. But I'm I'm loving that green. But I'm not liking this because it doesn't match this. So let me see what I can do here. I know I got plenty of pine I can use. Just want to get the bells free here. And then if I want, I also have some little stars I can put around. So I'm kind of liking that. And I'm going to extend the contest one more day. Only five people have commented. Now, come on. If you want to win a sign, you know, five signs, come on. So I'll extend it one more day. I mean, I pinned it to the top. It's like, what the heck? Nobody wants to win any signs for Christmas. I even have license plates. Could do some gift giving. All you have to do is like the comment and share it. Now, this was an old candle ring that I found. And I knew I'd want the rusty stars, so I saved that. All right. See, that's not going to look right. Oh, I know what I need. I need some pine. So, I'm just going to take some out of here. One of these and use it. It's at the top of Robin's Rethery page. It's pinned to the top. really big enough the sprays on it so let me try one more thing here actually I'll cut up this garland by Garland. All right, 
kind of like that. I think we'll put it on the edge. This is too big for this. So we're going to go with some bells and some pit berries, and then we'll put these little um, stars throughout. So let's get a hole in here. I think I'm going to kind of do it on an angle like that. Yeah. Don't want it to look perfect. And cracked thumbs. The skin is cracked. And of course, every time I bump it, that will go through the roof. So I thought these would be a nice touch because they're golden color. Let's see if I can use my ties here to put this together. Actually, I'm going to tie the sign on, but then I'm going to glue my thing here to the top of the sign. That will work. You said it, I didn't. There. And then maybe what I can do is glue some of those stars in it too. Let's see how many we have. There's quite a few here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So let's cut up some stars here. So I want to get those in there. Yeah. Just like that. Not ignoring, I'm just like getting in the zone. But I will go back at the end and see if there's a question or that I may have missed. Oh, we got a stubborn piece. I'm gonna give that a little spot of glue. show you what that looks like. She got some rusty stars. 
pit berries and a little bit of pine in there and some bells that do jingle. Still want to do something there to countrify her up. So I did I thought about possibly taking out the bow, but I don't like that. We'll leave the bow. No. We could put a small star in her bow. Let's try that. And see how that looks. That would work. That kind of countrifies her up. Or we can put, we'll put a rusty star on the tree and we'll put one in her hair. That way she kind of matches. Oh, thanks. Did I just lose that one? <gasps> Ugh. No, there it is. Okay. All right, so there's one. Let's move this out of the way. And we'll do the next sign. And then we'll do the next sign. And then we'll move on to our bow. Because the bow's gonna be a little challenging. I have a few ideas, but I'm not sure what colors I'm gonna use yet. But this was the main part, getting this little country look down first. Okay. All right, let's do the next one. This will be, I'm going to try and get it in my Etsy store tomorrow. Now that my grandson went back home, hopefully I can get some work done tomorrow. There we go. Okay. So, we need this, we need the bells, some pit berries, and a couple of stars. Susan, how are you? We are doing a country angel wreath. We are actually putting these little signs on that say Merry Christmas. They got the farmhouse stripe down the side. They have some greenery and a banner that says Merry Christmas. I was gonna go red and gold, but I wanted it country, more country. And this spray came from Sims. It's very realistic looking. I saw Doreen use it last week on one of her grapevines. And contacted her. Said I have to know where you got that. And I'm giving you all one more day to enter the contest for the five signs. So if you want to win them, you got to get out there and register. And it's at the top of my page. Yeah, oh, that might be down too far. Let me see. Kind of want it up further. So I think we're going to go with this one up there. Although that's where I want it. So 
So we're going with that one. And I'm going to have it go that way. We need some hip berries. I love decorating with pip berries. And once we get these in, then we'll put some stars on there. Still got to put her in, though. twist these how did they come apart okay need some wire I'm gonna try and go on. Uh, I'm gonna go on Wednesday, but I was gonna try and go on tomorrow too, since I won't be going on on Thursday. Or I could have Nanny Dot fill in for me while she's here. <laughs> you wanna do a live for me, Nanny Dot? <laughs> while you're taking care of the dogs. Would you just jump on and do a live? <laughs> Sorry, I can hear you now. <laughs> I wouldn't know the first thing about it. <laughs> I'll just set you up before I leave. <laughs> I want you to do your own thing. Sorry, I have cuts on both thumbs and they're driving me crazy. <laughs> See? Yeah, but you could tell them all about dogs and dog sitters and you could just share a whole bunch of stuff. Thank you, Susan. I thought you'd get a laugh out of that one anyhow. I think you do an awesome job. Talk about being a Marine. They'd love you no matter what you said. Right? Okay, let's get some rusty stars on here. Susan, did you turn sign up for the contest on my Facebook page on Robin's Re3? I want to give away those five signs. We hit 2,000 followers on here, and a, or 3,000, 
and I've got um, now a thousand on YouTube. Piece of tape stuck to me. They don't want that. There we go. All right, there's another one down. Yeah, look at this again. I think maybe I better do the bow next because wherever the bow's going to go, that's going to determine where we're going to put the third little sign. But let's get our little little um, stars on our girl here to make her look primitive. even put maybe a little bit of green underneath that. You just try something. Now this is even smaller yet. Yeah. Let's spruce her up. five people that registered it's like what I can't even give away some signs come on all you have to do is like comment and share it's not like I'm asking you to donate back teeth or something I thought everybody wants some free signs especially at Christmas time greenery on her. Now, I lost, the, there it is. I was going to say, I lost the star. Now let's put this at the top of her head. Her, I mean, <laughs> her tree. Let's get that on there. Trying to poke a little hole in there so I can put that wire right down in there. Need a stitch ripper. little touch. All right, let me just move this to the side. Move her over there. Move this over. Leave that. And leave that. And that. Now let's decide what colors we're going to use. Now, this has gold in it. I thought this would look really pretty against the red. And it 
kind of brings out the green in the sign. So I have that. I also thought this would be cute to add in too. I'm not sure if, well, this would work. But then I'm not quite sure what the bottom layer would be. Or the second layer. I have this. This is kind of red with a gold. I could put that over top of the green. This is too white for me. Or we can do green, gold, red, and this. We could do that. Let me see. Or no, not like enough. Mm -hmm. Let me think here. Nope. Kind of needs some. I know. All right. I have this. This really isn't ribbon. But I thought this would be a cute accent to just add underneath. So I think we're going to go with that. And I had to iron this. This was really a mess. And I don't know why it came that way. I think I'm just going to go with three because I really like this gold. It really, well, really looks good with her. So, so let's get rid of that. Yep. Didn't want that there. So I kind of like that. There. Then we'll go with this. And I had some left over from another project. Well, I thought now would be a good time to use that up. And I'm making my tails uneven just because I can. So let's ditch that. Now I thought I would add this, but let me see what it looks like. I can't visualize it yet, so. I'm just looking to see if there was a something else that would go with that. Well, let's see what it looks like on top of it. It's got the green, it's got the red, it's got some white, it's got the beige. And because I'm trying to go country, this would be the one to add. Yeah. All right. One longer tail. And do you know, I got a message from my stepdaughter last night 
saying thank you for the Halloween flag. Do you know I mailed that out the week before Halloween? And she lives in the state. And it just got there. I think that's terrible. I think that's awful. What is wrong with our mail system? That's just crappy. I was going to mail their Christmas presents. I don't feel comfortable doing that now. I use. I use the white. I think that'll really show up. So maybe I should just use the green. But that's not long enough. That's not long enough. Well, I can always add a second piece onto it. I'll just twist it and glue it. And pull it back through the zip tie. There. Push it down with this so I don't burn myself. Good. Love it. All right. Now I said I was going to move this um, pine cone because it's going to be hidden under the re under the bow. So. We want it seen. Yes. 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 I totally agree with you. I posted a couple months ago about all those dead baby chicks that got left on the docks of some of the post offices. I was so angry. And the guy's wife who took over, she has stock in UPS. So I think there's a little bit of con confliction or conflict of interest there. So I'm not happy with it at all. <laughs> I keep looking over here. I left my embroidery machine on and it keeps talking to me. My husband's retired from the post office and I am so glad he's out of there. I like these colors together. This one I'm going to make a little bit shorter. Good ribbon will curl nicely if it's good ribbon. And you can tell that is. All right. Get things popping here. Need to turn this a little so we can see part of our spray. I like that little pop of gold under there. 
I couldn't even tell you where that came from. It's been in my sewing stuff for a while, but I like it. it to kind of show under there. I'm not so much interested in pulling it up. As I am having it just peek through. I put in a request last night to have my mail picked up at the door today because I had so many packages going out and uh, they went right on their merry way. So my husband took them down to the post office for me and next thing you know I got a postal carrier pulling up in the driveway coming for him. I don't know what happened there. It's irritating. There. Alright, now I think... going to put that pine cone right in the middle there. Why not? Now, did I kick the... Oh, man. That sometimes just pops out. Come on. Oh, that looks cute. All right, I'll show you this so far. Something popped, dropped. <laughs> All right, there's what we got so far. All right. Now, I'm really thinking I want to go up higher with this sign and lower with the angel. So that's why I'm waiting to the end to put her on. So. Thank you. All right. This sign is going to go right in here. Where I have it holding the spray. That screams Christmas, doesn't it? Like it. And I can use that branch to tie this to. Now, let's figure out where we're going to put her, and then we'll figure out where our third sign is going to go. Hmm. Our third sign is going to go right here, so we are going to go up a little ways with her right there. So, I think that's a good, right there and there. Yep. All right. She's screaming for something, though. Like, I'm trying to think of what we can do to her. So 
have these. Nope, they don't look good on there. Might do something with that. Some really gold point setas. They don't look right. So, I don't like those with the pit berries. So, let's see. Let me think on it. Let's put something on her to attach her to the wreath. Hey Dawn, how are you? Okay, we know Dawn. She likes it close. <laughs> we aim to please Dawn. All right. I'm going to put a little slit here and a little slit here. I'm going to work this through the hole. <laughs> they take care of my regulars. They take care of me. Come on. There we go. Now, before I finish pulling that all the way through, I will put a little hot glue here, and then I pull, because then it goes all the way through to the other end, and she's pretty well glued in place there. Just needs something still on her. All right, so I said I'm going to move her up here and put the last sign down there. So, let's attach her. We, I started out where I was going to make this red and gold, but then I decided, Dawn, I wanted to go more country. So, I made up these little signs today that say Merry Christmas with the star and a little bit of greenery and such. So we've taken her from, we've taken her country. She's going country. She's one of my finds. And I think I will go live tomorrow and show you what I got this weekend. I'm so happy. Thank you. I didn't get a chance to list them yet because I was taking care of my grandson, but they'll get listed. Look at that, she's got feathers. So let me just make sure that we're good here. If I hang it this way, I think we're good. Move this up a little bit. That's what's nice about this spray. You can really move it around. There we go. All right, so the third little sign is going to go right here. So we need our hole. Let's see, I'm trying to think when I could go. I'll try and aim for noon. So 
so. This was just a whole mishmash of stuff. I got an ice skate. I got, which will make a beautiful arrangement. I got a wire um, angel, the you know, the basket angel. Um, what else? Oh, I there's just so much stuff. And I'm thinking, I bet you they think I'm crazy buying all this stuff that they thought was junk. I'm moving this down because the bow was hiding it. So, by pulling it down some and covering it up with the bow, I've gotten it more into the area I wanted it. Oh, there's a, a Christmas tree. There was couple of Christmas, just a whole bunch of stuff. And I said, would you take 15? And she said, yeah. I'm like, yes, score. But that's what I like, unusual stuff. And if you go on Marketplace, in fact, I was going to bring my computer on this tomorrow and show you, if you go on to your Marketplace on Facebook, there is a setting that you can hit that says local pickup. And if you hit local pickup, it'll only show you those items in your area. And that's what you want, the items in your area. And that's what I got. So yeah. It's a cool place to find unique items. That's where I found the gingerbread man for the gingerbread wreath. And she, she thought I was a collector, and I said, no, I need it for a wreath. And she said, I'd love to see it when it's done. So I sent her pictures, and she said, oh, my gosh. Of course, I gave him a new bow tie and spruced him up. So that's what you have to do sometimes. Spruce it up. All right, now we need our, where are, here they are. We need our little stars. There we go, one, and there's, let's go with two big ones because I might be able to put more of these stars on the tree. This was just a candle ring or something I found somewhere. we need to remove these sequins and put those stars on there. That way we've accomplished country. All right. There's another little one. There's a couple little ones in here. Good. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so let's get rid of our sequins because that's not looking country. Keep my little stars over there so I don't miss, miss them. Let's 
So you know, I've just changed the look. Just remove this, the leftover thread and you won't even know they were there. get rid of this it's doing surgery if they don't stick with the glue then I will go ahead and sew them on I think they're gonna stick yeah needs a little something on there. I will come up with something. There we go. Oh, we lost our little... Well, first of all, I think I glued the wrong end. Lost our pine cone. That was in the middle. Oh, I think this screams Merry Christmas. Whoa. Pine is going up her dress. Okay. I think we're done. What do you think? Think that screams country? Oop. Yeah. How's that look? Oh my gosh, Dawn, that's so cute. Dawn said cowboy boots. I don't know if I could find cowboy boots. But she would look cute with cowboy boots on. I'm going to twirl these a little bit. Yeah, it's something different. I'll tell you what. You search Angel Wreath on um, YouTube, and all you come up with are our angel the ut U utic boards like there's not a, a whole lot out there i have a couple angel wreaths but not a lot out there yeah i i love it but i think i need to add a little more green in a few places like maybe maybe out of the bow let me see here. I just feel like I need some more greenery coming out like this direction. So. Right there. I think that needs a pine cone on it.
still want to do some more to her. I don't know what yet. But I'll think of something. one more. Maybe one of these coming out with it. Yep. I love this spray. There we go. I just missed my foot. <laughs> my Abby scissors. Holy cow. I'm sorry when you you know how I am when I have a vision in my head and then it comes out better than I expected that just makes me happy and I love that against the red Okay, I think we're done. Like I said, I'm still gonna, I think, come up with something for her. But I like it. Something different, right? Thank you. Yeah, and I love these sprays. I got a whole box of them. They were just too pretty. I don't know. Oh, yes. Just little touches of these gold sprays. Look. I knew I brought them up for a reason. Country Glitter. Just a few of them, and that's all I needed. Oh, I even found these, because I wasn't sure if I was going to add pearls, but I don't think I would. I like it better without it. Oh, and if we want, do we want a gold bird in there? I don't think so. I think we're better off without the gold bird. All right, these are just enough of a little accent that I like. Just something to bring it back to pop. And I got five of them, so that's a good number. Just a little bit of glitter. Oh yeah. I don't know what they're from. They, 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 do look really real. That's what drew my eye to him when I saw her using them. Let's see. Let me put that one right down there. I used to buy gold everything and then I, I stopped and I don't have a whole lot of gold stuff. There we go. I like that. Just that little bit of pop. Different texture. 
So I think we're good. Oh, we go this way. I do show him Helen, but oh, that looks nice. <laughs> I mean, my, my um, gnome, he knows how hard I've been working on that. Because, I don't know if you got to see it, but I designed the ski slope. And I, I did take a tutorial, I did take a video of how to make it. I'm going to put that on my in my Etsy shop. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> I just know I've been at this for a year or more and um, when you finally, I, I have a real hard time designing. I know what I want, but sometimes when I get all the pieces out, I can't make the mesh. So I just keep plugging away. Like I probably should take the time and sketch the design out, but I don't. So when it comes out better than I expected, then yeah, I'm happy with it. And what is really nice is they're starting to sell now. So that's what this is all about. You know, finally my designs are being recognized. And I had one, She she's the one that wanted the manger one, and I had never done one, and she loved it. And uh, her girlfriend contacted me and wanted me to be in a show, and I said, I'm not going to be in a show this time of year. No way. Thank you. I And you know what? Uh, my one customer, her friend, bought it. And another one came to buy dog food this time. And she saw it and she said, I want that one. So I had to make another one this weekend. So... And I can't find those ornaments now. They were two years ago at Big Lots, and they don't have them anymore. So I think this tree needs a little bit of green on it. Like I added some up here. Or maybe some pit berries. It's, it just, it's lacking something, and I don't know what it's lacking. I even had this big honking gold thing. I don't know what it is. And like I said, I had the, the gold bird. But I don't, I think it doesn't work. So. Yeah, I finally feel like I have some confidence. And it's been, like I said, it's been over a year and and I really think Lori's training has really helped too um, business end and otherwise she's really been there and I don't know if any of you have signed up for her master class but she's having a free class every night and her anybody can join and she's got some awesome ideas so I don't know. Do you think it needs a leaf here and there? I think I'm better off just leaving it. Sometimes you add too much. But I know the base of the tree needs something, and I think just that little sprig might be all we need. So I'll just kind of glue that on there. There we go. But it's taken a while to get to this stage. And I'm not trying to 
come off conceited or anything. It's just, it's, it's hard work. The supplies and, you know, I try to work with what I have. Um, so, because I think that's, that's a challenging part of it. So, I enjoy that part. All right, I will try and get on at 12 tomorrow. I will try my hardest just to go over my my box that I bought of stuff. Um, really cool. So, and that way I'll pull the other computer in and show you exactly how to go on Marketplace and just search in your area. Um, I think it would be fun. Oh, well, you do a great job, Vicki. You really do. Oh, okay, Kayla. I, I'm sorry, I misread. Okay. But it, they didn't always look like that. And, and watching other people, too. I mean, Nick, he's really good. Doreen, I just love the, her designs because she does more grapevine than she does mesh. And uh, her designs, she just adds a few here, things here and there. And oh my gosh, they're, they're gorgeous. So, so yeah, it, it, you know, it helps watching other people. But they've really changed the rules as far as what you can share and what you can't share. So it's causing a lot of issues for us. Like it was nothing for me sometimes to have 40, 50 people on. Now I'm lucky if I get 10. So they're really limiting to who we can share to. So, All right. You all have a great evening. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.